Hey traders, welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to show you what do professional traders do that retail traders don't. Okay, this is what makes them successful. This is a habit that professional traders do. And it's something that we do every single week. Okay, we analyze our own trades. So in case you do not know what I'm referring to, that is actually starting your own trading results okay it's not a nice thing to do especially if you have a bad trading week but it is necessary if you want to become a better trader right you need to study what is working for you and what is not working for you so in today's video i want to walk you through the process of what our team does every saturday okay you can see that today it's actually the 22nd of uh, august and it's a saturday and while most of you are out there you know enjoying yourself and that's all good our team is still studying our own trading results and learning how we can trade better okay so this is a trait of all professional trader they are very serious about trading they study their mistakes as well as they study uh, what made them a lot of money Right, because only when you understand what causes you money and what makes you money, then can you do more of what works and do less of what isn't working. Okay, so that is the purpose of this video. So right here, you can see that uh, I'm looking at this week's trading results. Okay, so this week is actually the 17th of August to 21st of August. Uh, we traded this week. Okay, we have about another about two weeks before August ends but for this week you can see that uh, we have a nice uh, had a very good profitable week with about 252 pips uh, being generated you can see that the bulk of the profit came from um, gold XAU US dollar is gold okay and we have a lot of uh, positions which um, we managed to cut the losses fast so you can see that you know loss is like minus 3 pips minus 30 pips so this is what we do every week. Okay, more than just compiling the data uh, for you guys to see our performance, it's also for us to keep track, okay? But more importantly, uh, we don't just stop at this because uh, while we show you our results, we go uh, into deeper details about uh, what is working for us and what isn't. Okay, we actually spend the time to calculate this. And uh, in this video, I wanna show you just that. Now, by the way, if you're new to our channel, we create a lot of trading videos like this to help you become a better trader. So we would definitely appreciate it if you take just three seconds of your time to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Okay, we have new videos every day. We have a lot of videos uh, on about Forex strategy, psychology in our channel. So make sure you check that out as well. But back to today's video, I want to show you what we do. Okay, so the first thing that we do when we look at uh, our trading results is that, of course, uh, we want to look at uh, whether it's a net positive or, you know, it's a net negative for the week. Okay, we also want to look at our win rate. So in this case, our win rate is about 50% for this week. Okay, it's not, uh, it's not very, very fantastic. But then again, you do not need a high win rate uh, to make money. Okay, you just need to be able to cut your losses and write your winners if you want to make money in Forex trading. So this is the uh, statistics that we have calculated. So the first thing that we do is with that we want to go back to the charts to see the trades that we took. Okay, so in this case, I'm not going to go through every single trade because if I do that, this video is going to be very long. What I will do is I want to just um, go through the goal trade. So in this case, this is the goal trade here that... Um, we have token taken. So hopefully you caught this trade with us. So what we do is that we just copy this entry price. Okay, let me just clear, clear the charts. Okay, and we do a, a horizontal line. Um, just paste the value in. Okay, and then we go to the stop loss. And um, we can do it one more time just to mark out the stop loss. And of course, um, the take profit as well. But in this case, I didn't really write the take profit down. So maybe you can just uh, roughly calculate it as something like uh, this, just to you know roughly calculate it. So about 240 pips. So plus minus is here. Okay, somewhere here. We exited somewhere here. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to map out the trade that you took and uh, ask yourself, uh, did you have a good entry? Did you, were you able to find an entry that was, uh, you know, had minimal drawdown? Okay, in this case, uh, we had a very good entry. If I, be, if I remember correctly, we entered somewhere around here. So price barely even threatened our stop loss. So this was a good entry. Okay, another question you want to ask yourself is, did you follow your trading rules? Okay, that's very important uh, because 
uh, if a trade is a winner, but it's not part of your trading plan, it's not your strategy, uh, then technically it's not a good trade because you didn't follow your trading plan. Okay, so if you have a good trade uh, and it follows your trading plan, then you did well. But if you have a good trade that made money, but you didn't follow your trading plan, then you need to reflect about why you didn't follow your trading plan. Okay, that's uh, an area that you want to uh, understand. You want to understand uh, why you did that so that uh, you will not repeat that mistake again. Okay, so in this case, more than uh, analyzing our entry, we want to see uh, what would happen if we had you know, been able to exit over here. Okay, so this is also good because we try to understand this is a winning trade, but how could I have maximized my profit? So you can see in this case that uh, the top was here, but we only got up here. So what does this mean? This means that we lost out on this amount of profits. Okay, we could have made this amount of money, uh, but we didn't. Okay, so this is something that uh, it's... You, you can actually brainstorm, you know, you can think about, okay, what rules or what uh, strategies can I have in play so that I'm able to write out this trade? So for example, maybe uh, in this case, uh, we could have uh, managed it by using maybe a moving average. Okay, so you are always just looking at your data and trying to optimize it. Okay, maybe I could have, you know, use the um, nine period uh, exponential moving average and, you know, just trail the stop loss below and then, you know, when price are close below somewhere here, I will have gotten up here. Okay, so this is the example of what I mean by really understanding your data, understanding what are the aspects of your trading which are doing well and the aspects of the trading that you're not doing well. So in this case, for this gold trade, uh, we did very well with our entry because uh, our timing was very good, but we didn't do so well with our exit. Okay, so a lot of traders, retail traders, they just stop on the fact that this trade made money, but they didn't ask themselves, how could I have made more money? Okay, so in trading, there's only two things. Number one is maximize your profit. The second one is to minimize your loss. So you always want to ask yourself the question is, if this is a winning trade, how could I have maximized my profits better? Okay, so I'm not going to go through another example because I think it's quite clear, but these are the two questions you always want to ask yourself. Question number one is, how do I maximize my profit? Did I leave money on the table? In this case, yes, we left a lot of money on the table. And the second one is, did I cut my loss fast enough? Okay, did I use a wider stop loss than was needed? Okay, in this case, uh, I think our stop loss was quite well placed because even though price didn't go down, um, it was a very nice buffer. Okay, so this is how we do it. Now, the next thing that I want to talk to you about is the expectancy calculation. You need to know what's your expectancy uh, for your trading strategy, at least, uh, you know, for the month or, you know, for the week uh, in this case. So in this case, uh, if you are new to trading and you do not know what the expectancy is, what is your trade expectancy? It's a very simple formula. Okay, I have it over here. You have your win percent times average win size minus a loss times the average lot size. Okay, so what does this mean? This means that, let's say you get a number of $120. This means that you can expect to make $120 per trade that you take. Okay, I'm not saying that you make $120 for every trade, but I'm saying that uh, with this formula, you know that uh, on balance, meaning that in the grand scheme of things, if you were to do 20 trades, 50 trades, 100 trades, each trade, you can expect to make about $120. So let's look at uh, my own uh, results for this week. So you can see that uh, the, the average win uh, is about 73 pips and the average loss is about uh, minus 22.6. So what we have is a very nice uh, risk to reward. So if you want to calculate your risk to reward, you can also just do your average win divided by your average loss. Okay, and it gives you about a one is to a three. That means for every dollar you risk, you should expect to make about three dollars. Okay, of course, uh, this is in pips. Ideally, you want to change it to dollar amount. Okay, for the purpose of this video, I will not go into dollar amount because we don't want to show how much we are actually, how, how big account we're actually trading. But I think the concept is the same. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to input this formula over here and uh, input it over here. Okay, so it's actually the same formula. So what we did is uh, the win, our uh, average win is 73 pips uh, times the win rate minus the uh, the average loss, okay, uh, in this case, uh, I should put, put a bracket because minus and minus is positive. So let me just put a bracket, okay. 
minus the average loss, okay, minus average loss, um, this is the average loss, okay, this one it has to be a negative percent, okay, loss size is this amount, so it, this has to be negative, then uh, times one minus uh, the win rate, so in this case since our win rate is 50, that means our lose, losing rate is also 50, so that's why we do one minus uh, 50 percent, so this means that our, on our expectancy for this week is 47.8, that means for every trade that we take, we can expect to make about 47.8 pips. Again, you want to calculate this with uh, your dollar amount, how much you make per trade, not pips amount. So it depends on your account size as well as your risk, uh, you know, your how much you're risking per trade. Okay, so this is what we do. Of course, we do more than that. Uh, we discuss more ideas about, you know, how to uh, improve our trading. You know, how do we cut our losses faster? Uh, we also look at our... Um, risk to reward okay all this stuff but uh, for the purpose of this video i just want to show you a brief like you know introduction of what we do over the weekend how we analyze our trades okay so remember okay if you want to be a profitable trader you need to study your results okay because sometimes what happens is that uh, your trading is actually profitable except for this one thing and by eliminating this one thing you're able to turn your trading from a from a losing account into a winning account just because let's say you know that you find that uh, whenever you trade gold you lose money so you just cut go out of your equation right you don't trade gold and then your account goes positive so only when you study your anal your your trading results right you do analysis of your results then can you tell uh, your you then can you pinpoint this kind of um, things in your trading Okay, so you can see over here that uh, we keep a very detailed record of all our trading records. Okay, not just for you, but for ourselves as well. So I hope uh, this is a video that's valuable to you. I hope that um, you take action and you really be diligent in this. Okay, Rem remember you cannot make money if you're not diligent in doing this style of things. Okay, this is what professional traders do that retail traders refuse to do. Okay, they don't even document their trade. So I hope that uh, I convince you that you should be doing this. Put in the effort, right? It doesn't take a lot of effort at most. Set aside one hour a week to analyze your results, okay? Take the effort to really just jot down your entry, your stop loss. If possible, also input uh, the timestamp, meaning when do you take the trade so that uh, you can have all these kind of uh, useful statistics about your trading, okay? If not, as always, if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. We love to help you. Right? I hope you have a good weekend. Okay, if you are still new to this channel, you have not liked, right? Please give us a thumbs up, right? Really, really appreciate it. Right, hit the subscribe button as well. Okay, we love to hear your thoughts and we hope you have a good weekend. If not, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.